What's going on, Graveyard Shift family? It is a gloomy day out here in Atlanta, Georgia. It's kind of cold, it's rainy. Excuse me, it's early in the morning. I ain't gonna lie to you. I took some allergy medicine last night that makes you drowsy and it's still in me. So I'm really, really tired, y'all. But I wanted to get out here early this morning. I was supposed to be in Corpus Christi today, but there's no direct flights on the airline that I traveled to Corpus Christi and I would have to have a layover on the way back in Dallas. And I might not have made it back in time tonight. So I have to reschedule Corpus Christi, y'all. Uh, but I'm going to make my way out there probably next week. Corpus Christi probably going to have to be a whole day trip. I was trying to go out there and come back the same day to talk to Selena. But I might have to just make it a full spend the night in Corpus Christi. So that's the plan for that. Ow! Uh. <laughs> Don't laugh, y'all. The ground is wet and soft. And my stool... To everybody that's resting here, my name is Daylon. I come in love, peace, and respect. What's up, Landers family? What's up, Allen family? We got the Cape family, the Bennett family, the Helms, the Coles, the Gibbs, the Joneses, the Dodgins, the Moons. What up, everybody? Good morning, good morning, good morning. I just want to come in today and just check in with you. Check in with all of those that are resting. Tell me if this is a little morbid, guys. I sometimes find myself in these resting communities and I'm looking at the headstones and I try to find people that were born in like the equivalent of the year that I was born in just to see how long they live. So I was born in 1985. So I look for people that were, that were laid to rest in like 1885. <laughs> and I try to see what year did they pass away in. Not that I'm comparing my life to theirs, but I'm just like, dang, they was born in 85 and they lived to like, to be, to like 1950. I was like, damn, I was born in 1985 and that was 2024. Based on their timeline, they would have had like 20 something years left of life. That's just crazy to think about, man. Like that's the type of thoughts that be running through my head when I be looking at these tombstones and seeing the dates on them. Like, that's what makes it real when you make it present day and you realize, like, how either long or how short life is for some people. So, yeah, just be careful the things that you say, guys. I know I ain't trying to preach. I ain't trying to preach, but just, you know, the mouth, the words are powerful. Speak life. No need to speak death, y'all. I hate when people say life is short. You will never hear me saying that out of my mouth. Never, never, never. For some people it may be. For a lot of people it, it can be. But I feel like for those that aren't dealing with anything terminal, you saying life is short is almost disrespectful to God. To me, to me, this is just Dalen talking y'all. This is just Dalen. This ain't got nothing to do with y'all. <laughs> y'all can feel how y'all feel. This is just me by myself in this resting community with a whole bunch of dead folks <laughs> just talking how I feel. So I feel saying life is short when you aren't terminal or like that. It's kind of disrespectful to God because like God, man, I feel like God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, y'all. It's the medication. <laughs> it's the uh, <laughs> it's the allergy medicine talking, y'all. <laughs> Blame the allergy mess medicine. But I say all that to say, let's just speak positivity. Let's speak long life. Let's speak great health. Let's cut out all the the bad talk. Life isn't short. Life is long. We are not sick. We are healthy. We move in love and we move in peace. All right, y'all. That's my uh, message for the day. <laughs> pass the offering plate to your neighbor <laughs> and then pass it to your pastor. 
No, I'm just playing. All right. For all the spirits that are resting, my name is Daylin. Does what I said, does it make at least a little bit of sense? For those that are resting here, would you consider life to be long? Because my thing is, you can't have it both ways. You can't be like, life is short. Like if somebody passed away 20, 30 years old, it's like, dang, life is short. Okay? But say that same person robbed somebody and they got 30 years in prison. You're like, dang, 30 years? That's a long time. <laughs> so you got to equate years to prison years <laughs> to see if it's actually a long or short time or not. But yeah. Yeah. Spirits, what do you think? Said you live? Okay, so the person in front of me, we have Grace Gigi Bennett, the loving wife of Jeffrey Bennett and the loving mother of Michelle Bennett. She was born in 1965 and died in 1982. Oh, wow. So she was. So she was like 17, 18. Dang, she was a wife and mother at 17? Hold on. She's married. Let's look at this. Let's look at this real quick. Let's look at this. So Grace was born in 1965. Oh, wow. Okay, look at this. Grace was born in 1965 and died in 1982. So she was 17. She was a wife and a mother. This is her husband, Jeffrey. He was born in 1963 and died in 1985. So he was 22. Wow. So how did... You know what? Let me go get my let me go get my stuff. Cause I wanna know. I wanna talk. I wanna talk. That's really, really interesting. Jeffrey and Grace. They were married. They had one daughter, she was 17, he was 22 when they passed away. He died two and a half years after she passed away. Huh. Grace, Ed or Jeffrey, are you here with me? They get <laughs> No. Can either one of y'all tell me your name so I know you're here? What a Jeffrey, can you tell me how you passed away? Grace, can you tell me how you passed away? Really? Said not really. I was so. You still upset about it? 
Jeffrey, can you tell me how did you feel when Grace passed away? Difficult. It's like Do you think that the passing of grace sped up you passing away? Said it might have. Were you that heartbroken? Were you all sad to have left your daughter Michelle behind? Were you both able to watch over Michelle from from your final resting place? Does Michelle ever come visit you all? Someone is coming to visit you all. They're leaving flowers. That's sad. That was a very young couple. Now again, like I said, man, some people do pass away soon. Like 17, 22, to be married, have a child. That means they live, they they fell in love, they had a child. I wonder if Grace maybe passed away in childbirth or maybe soon thereafter, if there was any complications from that. And I wonder if Jeffrey was heartbroken, man. Like, But at least they're here together and they've been here together for almost 40 years. They've been here since 1985 together. I think that that's beautiful though. Sad, but beautiful. I think it's beautiful that you all were together young and even though you passed away young, you've still been by each other's side for the past 40 years. Are you guys still spending time together? And light. No. I'm just not. Grace, you ain't spending time with Jeffrey on the other side. So. Wait, are y'all still together? Jeff, don't tell me, man, you got up to heaven and Grace had found somebody else. No, I'm just playing. I know y'all are probably up there together. Easier what, Grace? Okay. 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 Okay.
Great. Were you waiting for Jeff when he came? When he transitioned? What? You said you were waiting? Jeffrey, did you see Grace when you transitioned over? Yeah, yep. <laughs> How did you feel when you first saw her face when you transitioned? You were crying? Did you immediately give her a hug and kiss? So, September, you said September? It was September. You passed away September 17th. Oh, so you remember like the month that you passed and that you saw her? Can't imagine. Shauna, why do you keep popping up? I said we're souls. Well, Shauna, are you here to help someone? Later. Jeffrey or Grace, do either one of y'all need some assistance? No? That's cool. You're satisfied? No. So. Do you like this resting community? Why not? Would you have rather been placed in a different portion of this resting community? No. Are you both still watching over your daughter Michelle? There's no one. We know is she doing well today? I would assume that your daughter's probably about 40, 41 now. If she was born, let's just say 1980, 81, 82. So she's probably about 44, 43, 42. Do you know how old your daughter Michelle is now? I would. Have you been able to watch the world just grow and progress since you've been resting here? Why is this iPad about to die? <laughs> Don't worry, y'all. I'm going to charge it up. I might go live later on this evening or at some point today. I need to charge my iPad. But I just want to come out here this morning, early this morning, 
with the weather like this is to see, check in, check in with you guys, clock in with some of our people. Uh, yeah, I've never really noticed Grace and Jeffrey before and just like their age and how soon after each other they passed away. But Jeffrey and Grace, on behalf of the Graveyard Shift family, we just wanted to come speak to you all, tell y'all good morning, tell y'all that y'all been thought about and we hope that you're resting well and peacefully. This seems like a couple that's actually cool, man. Like they're they're okay. They're okay. Us. Us. Well, thank you for your time. <laughs> Graveyard Shift family, let's do some research. Let's find out who Jeffrey Bennett and Grace Bennett were. They're buried in Mableton, Georgia. I wonder how they passed away. He has like a construction truck engraved on his headstone. I don't know, y'all let me know in the comment section. This is just a quick shift, y'all. We've been doing some, you know, some tragic stories as of late. We got some celebrities coming, but we wanna stop by and talk to some of our, our close family, y'all, and see how they're doing today. So we'll be back later on. Look at these ducks. Two ducks flying through the air. Is that you, Jeffrey and Grace? All right, y'all. I'm gonna catch y'all later on today. Love, love. Where are all these birds coming from? Love, love, love. Y'all, there's a lot of birds sitting on headstones around me right now. Hold on. Are the birds representative of the spirits? This is just a question. I don't know. Hold on. Are all the birds that are sitting on the headstones looking at me right now, are y'all representatives of the spirits that are resting here? No. Am I reaching? He said incredibly. <laughs> okay. My bad. <laughs> Forgive me. My bad, y'all. It was just awkward. It was just a lot of birds flew up at one time and they all sat on different headstones and looked at me. And I was like, maybe that's something spiritual. And I asked the spirits, was I tripping? They was like, incredibly, bro. Like, them are just birds that are tired of flying. <laughs> hey, man, at least they kept it real with us. All right, y'all, I'm going to see you later. Love, love, love. We'll be back with another video tomorrow for sure.